In order to use Blender to the best of your abilities, I strongly advise you get a three button mouse. A three button mouse means it has a left click, a right click, and a scroll wheel in the center. Blender's 3D navigation relies heavily upon these three buttons. So if you're trying to work with a trackpad or a two button mouse, things might be a little bit more complicated. There will be a video after this one where I go over touchpad controls and provide a way for two button mouse users to use their mouse with Blender. Those of you planning on watching that video should still watch this video first though because there will be a lot more information and a lot more details contained in this one. So with that out of the way, let's start looking at how we can use a three button mouse to navigate within Blender. There are three basic camera moves we can make within Blender. An orbit, a pan, and a zoom. In order to demonstrate these 3D camera moves, I brought out a model of the CG Cookie mascot, Baker. Baker is gonna help us demonstrate how the camera moves around in 3D space. The first type of camera move is an orbit. An orbit is when our viewport camera moves around some point in 3D space in a circular fashion. For example, here we can see that the viewport camera is moving around Baker's body. Additionally, it can move in different axes as well. So if I wanted to, I could have the camera moving around Baker in this dimension instead. The second 3D motion is panning. Panning is when your view moves either left, right, up, or down. There is no circular motion, there is no weird bendy twisty things, it's just straight left, straight right, straight up, straight down in a linear fashion. Our last 3D camera motion is zooming. Zooming is when the camera moves closer or further away from something. So let's go ahead and emulate these in Blender. As we previously discussed, the first type of 3D camera motion is an orbit. An orbit can be conducted in Blender by pressing down on the center mouse button or the scroll wheel. When we press down on this and move the mouse, you can see that we begin orbiting around the cube in the center of our scene. If we let go, our 3D viewport stops moving and we stop orbiting. But as soon as we click down on that center mouse button again and move our mouse around, we can continue orbiting around our 3D object. I invite you guys to try this out on your own now. Go ahead and pause this video, open up Blender, and use the center mouse button to orbit around in your 3D viewport. Then you can come back and we'll continue talking about panning. So let's expand upon this by talking about panning. As I said earlier, panning is the up and down or left and right motion of our viewport. So in order to pan, all we need to do is press shift on our keyboard. And then just as we did with the orbit, we'll press down on our center mouse button. And when we move our mouse around, the camera will be able to pan left and right and up and down or any direction in between. So once again, we'll press shift and press down on the center mouse button in order to pan. So once again, I invite you guys to try this out. Pause the video and use shift and the center mouse button in Blender to pan around your 3D scene. Awesome, so hopefully you're getting an idea of how we can navigate around in 3D space. So let's talk about our last 3D camera move, which is a zoom. In order to zoom, it's actually the easiest of the three. All you have to do is on your mouse, either scroll up or scroll down on the scroll wheel. This will allow you to zoom in. So once again, I invite you to try zooming as well as panning and orbiting. If you'd like a little bit of a challenge as well, you can go ahead and try and position the camera in a location where it's looking at one of the corners of the cube. So just like this, you can see that the cube is taking up the majority of our viewport and I'm looking straight at the corner. So go ahead and pause the video and try it out. Now that you know how to navigate in 3D around the 3D viewport, I encourage you to practice it a little bit. Find two or three points around, kind of like I did with the corner of this cube here, and try and navigate so that your 3D viewport is looking at these features. For example, I could say I want to look at the light and only the light. So I could position my 3D camera so I'm looking at nothing but the light. Try something like this with two or three other points in this basic 3D scene, and after that you can go ahead and move on to the next video.